My name is Tanya and I am program manager for a, a wonderful project called Black Minds Matter. It's a youth leadership development program for BME young people between the age of 16 to 25. Um, it's about raising up leaders of social change and we work with a group of young people, just developing them and establishing them. Um, I also am a project worker in a hostel for homeless young women, which I love. I've been doing that for 20 years. That's just like my little give back. And I also run an organization called TIA, which stands for The Inner Attitude. Um, TIA is a creative personal development organization for women and girls. My background and heritage. Well, basically, you know, that is such an interesting question. I love when people ask me that. My background and heritage. Where are you from? I say Croydon. Yes, yeah, of key in it. No, no, we all we all know what we mean by that. And it's to be celebrated. So my background is I'm born here and my mum's born here. So I guess I'm English then. <laughs> I guess it's really confusing. Are you British? Are you English? Are you whatever? But yeah, I'm basically born here. My mum's born here and my stepdad is Ghanaian and my biological father is Jamaican. So I have a real, obviously, cultural strong influence of Jamaica, but I have a very strong influence um, um, Ghanaian culture because that was what I was also raised in. So I've got the best of both worlds. I have had the wonderful experience of working with young people um, and that's always a joy. You know, firstly, they keep you young. But secondly, um, young people are the future. So if you have the opportunity to get around young people um, and you're able to impart and develop them and you're able to provide opportunities that are life changing for young people, it's always a, a tremendous piece of work. One thing about youth work, which is like my main professional background, um, is that we believe in providing opportunities that transition young people from A to B. So, and then oftentimes you won't see them get to B, but you know that at the point when they were with you at A, you know, at some point they'll be moving all the way through to B to Z. And so it's so rewarding that five, 10 years later, I see a young person that I was working with at some point on a project and that they're just doing exceptionally well. That is just, and you're just like, oh. I had a little, small little part to play in that. So a lot of my work is predominantly working with developing young people. My Black Minds Matter work is um, about developing black and minif uh, minority ethnic groups. So that's actually quite special, especially in this time and dispensation. Um, but my other work with the hostel and TIA, we work, yeah, we work with all young people um, from all walks of life, um, empowering them, building their self-esteem, building their confidence, um, just establishing purpose, sense of self-worth, um, and just letting them know that, you know, the, the sky's the limit. Black culture, oh my goodness. See, now we have to go deep, start talking about what the word black means. Um, and I really believe that black embraces everybody that's non-white. Um, I know that's quite controversial. Um, and so that means it encapsulates a whole a range of cultures and environments and backgrounds and um, history and um, knowledge and wisdom. Um, there's so many different things um, and it's, it's, it's an, a powerful force on its own. Like it impacts all walks of life from entertainment to sports, political, to government, family. I mean, it impacts so many levels and has got so many foundational structural blocks that um, you see in society on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, in fact, it, it needs to have its own perfume, I think, because it's, it's, it's really not rated enough, but yet it impacts so many different things and you see it every where Black History Month means that we need to kind of start teaching it a little bit more because black history is more than a month. It's actually every single day. And when you're black, it's your whole life. So for me, Black History Month always reminds me that, wow, this is a topic that we still have not really embraced properly, which is why we have to go over there and do a whole month around it. Everybody was created for a reason. You were created to do something specific. We need a range of different people to come together in unity to make this world work. We need everybody's skill base, everybody's ideas, thoughts, experiences, 
cultural influences. We need everybody to come together in order to make things work. You were created for a reason to do something really specific and what, what is in you, the world needs. Black History Month means a lot to me. It's really, really important. It's a celebration um, of my cultural heritage, of who I am and all the people that are connected to me. I am Tanya Akwa. I'm proud to be a black woman my Black History Month.